Welcome back, you filthy exiles, or I should say Diablo 2 Resurrected players. So, obviously, we're two weeks away from D2R coming out, uh, being the 23rd of September. And with the way that PoE currently is with the league, you know, we need something to fill that time before the next league. Uh, what better way to uh, fill that time with some D2R goodness? Now, obviously, you can see it's coming out on consoles, and I'll be playing it on Switch and on PC. But anyway, I wanted to give people a bit of an idea of some of the builds that you could play. Um, now, most of the builds in this game are pretty much based off of the original D2 builds because, you know, it's basically a remake of an original game. So uh, I thought I'd do a quick curation video similar to my PoE League Starter videos um, with some builds and the links to the guides that you can check out uh, in the description that will, uh, will get you through to uh, cranking away at some awesome D2-ness. Now, I know it's a bit daunting, a lot of people who play, um, you know, have, have played PoE, haven't really played D2. So this is a big game to get into. And uh, yeah, anyway, I won't hold us up too much. Um, let's get into five potential builds that you can uh, you can play in the uh, D2R Resurrected launch. All right, so the first build that we're going to mention here is actually the Bone Spear Necromancer. Uh, pretty much how this build works is you throw Bone Spears, you max out Bone Spear, and it's all about bones uh you'll also use things like bone prison and uh and also your uh, bone armor as well to defend yourself and lock enemies up now uh elzeroth has done a really good build to sort of break down how to approach this build uh using things like insight and crafting that for your minions so you can deal with mana sustain and things like that um definitely check out his video it's really good and a really good sort of league starter or no maybe not league starter, that's a poe term but uh Really good sort of starter build to get you into the game. As you can see on screen, Duriel's a bit of a pain in the ass at the end of Act 2. And this is one such way that you can deal with him and progress through the game into the uh, into, into hell quite easily and, and for a pretty good price. So the second build I'm going to recommend here is going to be a really basic but strong-ass build. Um, and this one's actually been uploaded by Dobronsky, who's been doing builds for a long, long time time on this game been playing it for quite some years keeping it alive basically it's as simple as it sounds uh frenzy is hit get faster as you hit more and uh and then eventually the enemy dies um and obviously to buff this up you'll use runes and everything else involved in that um but pretty much super tanky uh really really basic to play as you can see that he's doing ubers which is another part of the game um and yeah, that's pretty much all there is to it. Uh, you hit things really fast and really hard until they die. Uh, and then yeah, so this is a really basic build. Uh, good for anyone getting into the game. It's a little bit monotonous because there's a lot of single target. But um, yeah, that's pretty much all there is to it. Uh, Diablo 2 is a basic game uh, made in a much simpler time. And uh, this build should work just fine if you don't want any crazy complicated mechanics. Okay, number three is pretty straightforward. As you can see, Dabrunsky, again, uh, is the guy who's behind this one. Now, he's clearly running a bloody Enigma. For people who don't know what an Enigma is, and this is a classic Hammerton item, basically uses runes Jaith Burr in a light plate, um, and fundamentally gives you teleport. And then basically you teleport around the map, and then you teleport into the zone, you farm the shit out of, out of, out of the bosses you want to farm at, um, and then move on and basically this was a rinse and repeat mechanic for bow runs back in the day um, You're not going to get an enigma straight away on a hammerton But what you can do is you can play a hammerton um, as you can see holy hammer is pretty much the name of the game here I uh, max out your uh, your shield defensive skills I can't remember the name of it, which is really bad because I should know more about this game considering how much I played it I just haven't played it in a long time um and then basically you just uh, move around the map and kill absolutely everything. Now, eventually, depending on how hardcore you are, you can get an Enigma. It's not too, you know, not too difficult to get. Um, though it will take some time and grinding. Um, and basically it's just sourcing the right runes. This is pretty much going to be one of the most popular builds in the game. I'm definitely contemplating paying, playing a Hammerton because it's just my all-time favorite build. As you can see, you just sit on bosses, drop a shitload of hammers and everything dies. Really great skill, a lot of fun, definitely would recommend, and it's my number three pick. Most likely is going to be 
maybe the starter that I start I start with, but definitely is one of the builds you should consider when the game comes out in two weeks. Alright, so the next build that I'm going to recommend here, uh, which has been posted up by D2D2, is the Javazon. What this basically is, is you're running the Amazon class and Lightning Javelin. Go figure. All it really is, is uh, throwing Lightning Javelins, which sort of means you need to max out Lightning Javelin. As you can see, it chains and basically wipes entire screens. Absolutely fantastic for, uh, for taking out pretty much all the content of the game. Obviously, when you get to Hell, uh, it's a little bit more complicated because you have to deal with immunity, such as Lightning Immunity, which really throws a spanner in the works, but there's plenty of ways that you can switch around this, and you can also spec up into other multiple variations of Javelin, which assists you in taking down those enemies, such as, you know, Poison Javelin and things like that. Um, anyway, definitely a build that I'm going to recommend here. Um, quite frankly, is just one of the most well-known builds in the game. Um, one of the things that we're sort of looking forward to with uh, getting Javelins into PoE 2, in fact, because this game really dictated a lot of the uh, the climate that PoE operates in as far as the builds that we look at playing and the builds that are coming up in PoE 2 in particular. Anyway, definitely worth trying on the, uh, on the release of the game and uh, definitely worth looking into D2D2's build and uh, having, a, having a suss out. Okay, so this is actually a re-upload of my original video and I got absolutely slayed by people uh, <clears throat> for not mentioning the Sorceress. So, yes, the Blizzard Sorceress or, or the Meteor Sorceress, either way you want to go, we're definitely going to mention this as the number one build. If you're going to play a league start, sorry, a uh, starter build for D2, the Sork is basically one of the easiest characters to go with. Now, uh, usually if you were going to speed run the game where you want to burn through, you go charge bolt and then just bash your way through the early parts of the parts of the game that way. I also like going fireball is really good as well. But there's a lot of argument that says the, uh, the Blizzard Sork is maybe one of the most powerful characters in the entire game, as you can see on screen. Uh, Nexius has actually done a comprehensive guide which explains pretty much all of them. So that's what I'm going to feature here. Um, and a link to his uh, channel and, and, and the video that he's put up in relation to how to play the Sorceress. And uh, yeah, so there you go. For all the people slaying me, there you go. Sorceress, number one. Number one starter build to tackle when you're playing D2. Anyway, uh, that's pretty much the, uh, the ace in the hole with that one. So yeah, we'll, uh, we'll leave it there and uh, yeah, move to the closing on the video. So that's my roundup of, uh, of I guess, five starter builds to start the uh, D2R Resurrected um, you know, game on launch. Uh, pretty much a really classic you know, sort of game. There's tons of material online uh, and throughout just outlining the ridiculous amount of content that this game has. There's so much to the end game, such as uber farming and things like that. But um, yeah, see how you go with, uh, with these builds and uh, don't rule out other builds. Obviously, I haven't put Sorks in this guide. Uh, and if you want to see a second video of um, you know, more builds, I can do that with druids and sorks and, uh, and different things like that. These are just the builds that sort of stick out to me that I find really fun. Uh, definitely Whirlwind Barbarian is definitely worth having a look at as well. Incredibly powerful um, and just a hell of a lot of fun. But uh, yeah, anyway, until next time, like and sub and uh, have a good one and uh, bye.